Hi. Morning, morning. Listen to a little Randy Hauser this morning. That's the jam of the day. Woohoo. All right. It seems like when I really get down to business here, I can't think and listen to music at the same time. <laughs> So, I hope you guys are having a great morning so far. Um, I've got to get to my refresh page so I can open that up and see the comments. It's 9 a.m. It is July 25th. Um, today's show is on mute right now. <laughs> I'm drinking some coffee. Mm. Man, perfect temperature right now perfect temperature. I can't drink the coffee right after the Keurig makes it because it's so hot to me, but then I just let it sit just a little while and it's perfect. Um, but I was really tired this morning, so I just started drinking my coffee. So forgive me if I'm groggy. <laughs> um, okay. It's taken its sweet time to get to the subscription boxes, so... <laughs> Stand by. Hang in there. We're working on it. I see Ms. Gold Girl did a three-minute makeup challenge. Fail. <laughs> Mine would be a fail, too. I need to do that because I've been tagged to do that multiple times. And I just, like, part of me thinks it's going to be truly impossible, so why bother? But then part of me thinks, you could do it. You could do a full face. <laughs> Like, like, just practice, you know, working in super, super amazing speed, and maybe you can do it and be like some kind of phenomenon. But, but then I come back to reality and think it's like they having too little, you know, the angel and the devil on your shoulder or something. You're listening to both, trying to figure out what to do. I should just do it though. Okay, we're getting it opened up. I have so many random little things to talk about today. Um, okay. Alrighty, I'm seeing comments, I'm seeing people, woohoo, I see Sophia, I see the Dragon's Vanity, by the way, the Dragon's Vanity, I loved your little recap blog post that you did of the Minnesota event, the, the Mall of America thing, that was fantastic, I tweeted it, and then I was thinking after I wrote my blog post, I wanted to link I, I kind of want to do an edit and link below to anybody else who did a video or a blog, you know, about the thing. So if I can round those up, I'll do that. All right. Um, have you ever noticed what the thumbnails for all the for Beauty Broadcast Live always looks like, like after the fact? I've always got this look on my face. Like <laughs> looking at the comments. Oh my gosh, Joanne Smith's here. Ella and I are so happy to be able to watch today after returning home from Spain after one month. Oh, Ella was ready to get home. What a sweetheart. How's she doing? Morning, Dallas, Texas. Massachusetts, Serbia, Canada. Awesome. We've got variety in the house today. Mm. Excuse me for the slurpage. It's still a little bit hot. When it's still a little bit hot, I have to slurp. Um, what do you think about the E back here? Did I tell you about that last time? I got that from Hobby Lobby. They have all the letters in sparkly, um, sparkly gems and then a little ribbon around them. Hi, Mariah! Mariah passed her exam that we were thinking about her for, for last week. So that's good news. Okay, I need to refresh again. Uh, Linda Webb's in from L.A. Um, I gotta refresh this page because it's doing crazy things over here in my other window. Ah! Oh my gosh. Tyler and I were up kind of late cleaning last night. That was fun. Not. Did you get a new webcam? The quality seems so much better. No, I did not. But I'm glad it seems better. Maybe, you know, I'm wondering if maybe Google Plus and this whole thing is is improving a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, this is a large size mug. <laughs> These mugs take the large size from what the Keurig puts out. Hi from England, New York, Pennsylvania. Uh, I was talking on the Beauty Broadcast Community chat the other day with uh, Taser and Debbie, and um, we were talking about the need for 
some beauty broadcast official mugs and official t-shirts as well. Mmm. Mmm, delicious. Delicious. Croatia NYC, uh, first beauty broadcast live. Got to get your coffee, no matter what time of day it is. If it's a different time of day, maybe you want some other sort of beverage. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and all that stuff back there, I kind of, what I did, it was so funny the response I got on the last video I did on the makeup channel because it was, sorry, this hair is going to be a, an issue all day, I can just tell. Um, but the last video I did the haul, the Mall of America haul, I had questions like, did you change your lighting? Did you change your camera? Like, a lot of positive feedback, but all I did was I just shifted over and instead of sitting here where I'm pointed right toward my window I just scooted over here and I was facing like this way so you saw that stuff kind of in the background a little bit of this stuff and I shifted my light over same distance away from me and everything but the lighting was doing weird things because um, anybody who shoots videos you notice like if you move around or let's say you were shooting the first part of it and then your memory card ran out or you had to get up for some reason and then the camera kind of readjusts like for for big old you know TV news cameras they would always have to white balance and basically you tell the camera what color white is so therefore it can determine what every other color is it's weird but every time I came um, I got up and sat back down during that a uh, whole video <laughs> it was long um, I looked slightly different like the the lighting just it, it got more saturated or less saturated or I looked more yellow or tan and less yellow um, did you get anything from the alpaca shop no I didn't I did not because <laughs> I felt like such a goofball because I found, um, you know, the pack, the picture where I was holding the little white fluffy alpaca? It wasn't very big, but it still couldn't fit in my bag. Like, my suitcase was 100% packed, and my purse could not fit anything else in it either. But that alpaca was, I'd say, maybe this tall. And so I go up to the woman in the shop, and I, I say, do you have any, like, miniature alpacas that, like, look like this but are just, like, you know, half the size? And she's like, no, I'm sorry. Like, she was really sorry, but... That was the only, that was the smallest size they had was what I was holding there. So, darn it. But the picture will last a lifetime. And I could probably order one online somewhere, right? But there, it was the softest little thing ever. And there's a hilarious thing on Pinterest comparing llamas, like llamas versus alpacas. And basically, llamas are fuzzier and cuter. Like, they make the... the the, no, they make the alpacas look like the cute, sweet, innocent ones, and and llamas look like ugly and evil. <laughs> but, anyways. Awesome. Oh, Finland's here. What's up, Finland? Come on, come on, what's up, Finland? Woo -woo -woo. That's the official song of Finland. It's the official anthem. They're going to start singing it before all their important sporting events someday, I know. India! Yay! Okay. Um, I have seen some limited edition color whispers, Rebecca Keller. Yes, ma'am. Um, where did I see them? I think I saw them at Walgreens, and I looked at them, and I was, again, that disappointing feeling when you look at something and... It's been, you know, it's got a cap hanging off like somebody just popped it open, looked at it, swatched it on their hand, maybe they even swatched it on their mouth, and then just sat it back down there looking a mess. Oh, that was the case with a lot of them. And then I kind of reminded myself, well, I don't need any more color whispers anyway, Walgreens. So that's how that went. You guys know what I was about to do be right before this went on. I was trying to record a voicemail greeting on here having the hardest time. It won't record one. I, I don't know. I, and the reason why I thought to record it is because I seem to get phone calls during this and I want to actually customize my voicemail message to say between the hours of about 9 and 11 central time I'm doing a live thing here so I can't but I seem to consistently get some sort of phone call during that time. 
Is it weird that I'm 14 and drink coffee occasionally? That's Erica Noel 99. Well, I don't think so. Is it me or is it coffee kind of expanding? You know, coffee, coffee, and you know, with Starbucks and all that business getting more popular, probably more people are drinking it. I did not start drinking coffee. I didn't drink it even in college. Um, I didn't think I liked it, but then, sorry, burp. Um, <laughs> what was I? But. After I after college, after I started at the TV station and started the morning shift, I decided I would get into it, and I did in a big way. <laughs> I still confined myself to like one cup, or I put it in my travel mug, but it was this amount of coffee, and that would be all I drink every day. But I needed it every morning. Canada, Toronto. Oh my gosh. Okay. Your eyes look purple. Oh, that's because they are. <laughs> Just kidding. There's my eyes. They're brown, still, still brown. I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror, still brown. Um, these are my nails. Let's show you this hand because it's not chipped. Yeah. This is um, a L'Oreal color, and it's called, it's something kind of off the, the slogan of the brand. It's called Because You're Worth It. Because You're Worth It. And then I put just put some silver glitter over this nail for like a subtle accent nail. Like you can't really tell from far away, but then up close you're like, oh, isn't that wonderful? I had a beer on Saturday night and I was noting how good it looked around the glass with this color. <laughs> First time watching live, feel guilty but excited. Can we chipmunk? Hey, you know what? As long as you make it here eventually, it's all good. But if you're late, you do have to go to the secretary's office and get yourself a tardy slip and then come back. Chipmunking! That's what we do. And that's what you can do anytime you got to take a goofy picture. And I know if you're watching from work, you're thinking, I don't want to do that. Are you kidding me? I'm not going to put my paws up like this and all my coworkers will see me. So don't worry. We've got an answer for that. All you got to do is scope out your territory to the left, to the right, quickly, discreetly. Discreet, subtle chipmunk. That's how it's done. Woohoo! All right. We got so many first timers here today. Well, basically, what this is, if you're here for the first time, is we do talk about some makeup. We do talk about random things. And it is completely driven pretty much by you. I mean, I do have some things that I decide to talk about, like face of the day and a few little products people have asked about and stuff. But overall, it's just a free-for-all. And we go till about 1030 or a little bit longer if the conversation is just that exciting. And I'm wearing my tank top from Walmart. I got that a long time ago, actually. You may remember that. I'd love to be in your secretary office. Yeah, could we get, that would be awesome if, if we could be doing this and somebody could actually be playing secretary over here and we could like cut the camera to them every so <laughs> really make this a show, you know? Um, uh, Tara, Tara D says, I do that all the time with a glass of wine. You mean compare like your manicure to the, to the product inside? Um, if you use a good top coat, can you get away with using not as good quality nail polish color? Um, that would that sounds like a very logical um, assumption there, I think. I am sad because I keep forgetting to pick up Mega Shine, Sally Hansen Mega Shine, which um, uh, some wonderful viewers who are CVS employees <laughs> have sent me pictures like, it's here at CVS, but I forget to get it when I go there. That's my favorite top coat. It is the shiniest, the fastest drying stuff ever, and, I mean, it just works better. This hand, um, you can tell I open stuff because the tips are just chipped right off. From opening stuff, and then we cleaned last night, of course, quite a bit. So, if I chipmunked in public or even around my parents, someone would probably call the cops on me. <laughs> Erica Noel, I take it you're a pretty, you know, mild-mannered... <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, polite, keeping an even keel, not being too crazy kind of girl. <laughs> Yeah, I may sing at one point. Oh, my gosh. You know how I – can I vent for a second? Because I know this is the crowd I can vent to because you guys, you're all, you're all with me. You understand. Um, when I was doing the, the hall and the title, the title, the name of the Snars palette is the Voulez-vous coucher avec moi ce soir? And I barely, I, I would say I barely sang that. Like, if I really wanted to all out sing for you, you would know that what I did in that video was not singing. But somebody just said, Emily, please never sing again in the comments. Crushed me. Seriously, that probably just annoyed me more than somebody saying, you know, like, get some new teeth or I hate your eyebrows. Like, that... <laughs> The comment about the singing really just <laughs> got me. I will still sing. But that in that video, I don't think that even qualified as singing. Come on now. That was just a slight inflection in my voice. I was not, I mean, if you want to want me to go to town singing Lady Marmalade, I will. And you will see it's, you know, what the difference is. Uh, I always do my nails when you're live. That's cool. I like to be a, a companion in that way. What are good hot rollers for straight Asian hair that won't hold a curl for school? Good hot rollers. Um, I would not say the Remington ones that I've been using because those, I feel like you got to leave them in for a real long time. Um, well, the heated clip kind. You might want to look into the heated clip kind, and I think they've repackaged and redone them a little bit. But Red Lip, Red Lipped Beauty, um, if you check out like a discount store or um, drugstore type place and see if they have a kind of roller with the heated clips, and I think now you can actually buy the heated clips just on their own. Uh, but that will help lock it in faster, and you won't have to leave the the rollers in for as long because you're going to get more heat on there, but um, that works well. Also, I like just you going around a curling iron and using the Velcro rollers because then you can really get some hairspray on there as they sit, and I don't like to put a lot of spray on hot rollers just because I don't want to gunk them up too much, but anyways. Why so much cleaning? <laughs> Well, it really wasn't that much cleaning. It was just, you know, we've got uh, Tyler's sister is coming this weekend, and so we're just kind of straightening up a little bit here and there. Is Tyler the secretary or Cupcake? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, everybody. The comments are coming in about my voice and my singing. They have no joy. Sing louder. <laughs> Should I put up? I what I should have done was really taken note of their of their username, and then made my next video a a YouTube concert dedicated to them, S and just singing to them, just serenading them to a more joyful place in life. <laughs> Bye, gal. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> BB bus tour, get the idea to Ryan Seacrest. Oh, Jan's here from Nashville. <laughs> yeah, it was just like the day before yesterday that I shot that swap video and put on that apron. So, um, And I was actually cooking yesterday evening and forgot to put it on. It's probably one of those things where it's like it's so cute, I won't want to get stuff on it. So, mm. oh, thank you. Thank you, Mary Bell Cosmetics. You're so nice. Rebecca Keller broke down and got the Sigma F80. That's That was a good decision. That was a wise decision. Would you say hi, Ian, to, to my fiancé? I would love to see him blush. Hi, Ian. <laughs> What's up, Ian? Um, can we come up with a song for Ian? 
Let's go, Ian. Come on, come on. Let's go, Ian. Ooh, ooh. Um, I need to refresh. Need to refresh. Did anybody um enjoy the thumbnail I did for my Mall of America, Hall of America? Put a lot of work into that. <laughs> BB Live singing tour. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey. Cute frill. The Dragon's Vanity has a cute frilly apron she wears while grilling. My dad gave me a matching chef hat. My neighbors get a kick out of it. <laughs> oh, there's that girl out again <laughs> in her frilly apron. Yeah, maybe I'll try to do it more like outdoor activities. like Or maybe when I'm just going out to get the mail, have my apron on and cleaning gloves on, just be rushing out like, gosh, I've been so busy doing all this work in the house, like cooking and cleaning, and now i got to get the mail and so, so I can publicly don, you know, the apron and stuff. Because anytime I go out and get the mail, even though I'm not on a very busy street, there's always a car going by. Right before the show started, there was a teal truck going by with a wiener dog hanging out the side. Typically, it's like a big old lab or a golden retriever's head, you know, hanging out the side <laughs> of, a, of a truck window. But this was like the little wiener dog was all like perfectly placed, like staring right at me. Uh, my middle name is Noel. Yes. From Emily Noel 83. It, it is my legit real middle name. Yep, yep. I ordered the F80 this week, also just bought the Naked 2, so it's safe to say my favorite YouTube gurus are helping me break my wallet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know. We all influence one another. And I've been thinking lately about how how many people influence me and how many viewers tweet me and Facebook me saying I just found this new thing you gotta try it. and so while you're watching some, watching some people and you're getting ideas for what to buy I've got a bunch of people tweeting at me telling me what to buy so I'm gonna throw this responsibility back on y'all <laughs> and say you're making me do it. Um, Oh man, you know what? I think I've recorded a lot of episodes of The Bachelorette because I did like a season recording and thought I was going to watch them, but I haven't watched any of them. Sing us a song. I'll wait and see if I get inspired. Um, somebody's mowing out there right now. Where are they? I hear it, but I can't see it. Would you consider consider being on Dancing with the Stars? Well, I don't think any producer of Dancing with the Stars would ever um, ask me to do it, but if asked, I would most definitely do it. Absolutely. I love dancing, and I would love to be taught how to really do it. But I would probably have one of those breakdown moments, you know, like in the packages they show before the people dance, and there's been some intense drama, and somebody's sobbing, and <laughs> oh, I'm so frustrated. I would probably have that moment. Emily, don't you wish you had Melissa's accent? I take it you're talking about MILFs. I'm happy with my own, with my own non-regional diction. <laughs> I'm drinking coffee. I think you've had too much coffee, says someone. What are you drinking? Just coffee. I was very, very tired this morning, and I'm uh, sometimes when I'm real tired, I'm a little bit sl like slap happy, but I've only had half my cup of coffee. Yeah, so I'm good. I can I can uh, police myself on the coffee. Thank you. <laughs> I'm blaming all y'all. Exactly, Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you for correcting my southern grammar. <laughs> because when you're talking to a group, it's all y'all. When you're addressing one person, you can just say y'all, as far as I understand. Yes. Uh, favorite TV shows at the moment? Gosh. Um, 
I feel like there's not as much on right now that I enjoy watching as before. Like now I don't have Idol anymore. Um, I haven't been watching that much. Like I've been watching more YouTube, I feel like, in the evenings than TV. YouTube, YouTube or Cardinals baseball or um, Tyler's always watch. I, I don't know. I cannot keep up with the shows he's watching. Like, um, I think one of them's called Suits, and then he's got another, these legal shows. He's all about them. Suits, what's the other one? It's two guys. It's two guys, and one is, one is uh, Zach Morris. Um, it was almost good. Franklin and Bash. He watches all, like, he likes any kind of legal drama. It's so funny, because he was glued to the George Zimmerman trial as well when that was on. But, <laughs> Midwest accent, accent, yeah, exactly. It's funny because some people say, I have a, tell me I have some kind of southern accent, but I've never noticed that amongst, you know, the people I live around here. Um... Yuns. Yeah, sometimes around around here people say yuns. Yeah, no, Melissa's accent cracks me up. It's it's outstanding really and it's very pronounced and just extremely like um it, it's such a thick southern if you're not I'm telling you this if you're not familiar with Melissa, it's a thick southern accent but it's she talks in a very enthusiastic tone so it has a, a, a life all its own her voice <laughs> you'll, you'll enjoy it um, do you watch Big Brother? oh that was what I was going to start watching and the very first night it came on we had a big storm and the um, it, like the satellite with all the heavy rain and stuff and the cloud cover I guess the satellite stalled out and we couldn't even watch that Awesome. As an Arkansas native, I will say you are absolutely correct on the y'all usage. Now that I'm not in the South, I get called out for it. You know, I, I like that people take their accents with them. I think you should be allowed to talk in your, you know, real accent wherever you are. What's your favorite thing to do with Tyler for date night? Ooh, um, well... Lately, I mean, we we just like usually it's on Friday night, and we will just go out to eat somewhere and um, just have kind of a date like that. Um, we don't really have to be doing anything super crazy, you know, like um, have some certain plan or whatever. But sometimes we'll go out to dinner and do a little shopping or something afterward. But I find that even though I see him, I, like I, I'm seeing Tyler so much more than I ever did before um, because of my schedule now. You know, we have evenings together and that's really nice. But yeah, it seems like on Friday we just have tons of stuff to talk about. Like I'm, we're sitting there just like talk, talk, talking. You know, when we're going out to dinner, and it's like I don't know if we've stored up this stuff to talk about, but we just keep going back and forth, and it's so fun. And um, I think you have to have a time when you can, you know, just be together and and have your little date. I do use a lighted mirror. Um, if you check out my channel, it's the Vanity Girl Hollywood Mirror. And it's one of those big mirrors. It's about this wide. <laughs> and it's got lights, three big bulbs down each side. And with the knob that you turn, you can adjust the brightness. If you do, there is a little search box on YouTube, and I've been meaning to blog about this. And, um,. Point it out to everybody because I've had people telling me I'm looking for a certain video, but I don't know how to find it amidst your 800 some videos. And there is, if you go to a person's channel page, you see videos, you see playlists, and all that. But there's a little magnifying glass, and that'll open up a search box. And if you search mirror or you search vanity girl, it'll bring up that video. And just like there's a search box on the blog as well, so that's really handy. And I've also had people asking about, um, watching videos back in chronological order. Um, 
and you know all they're seeing is playlists or like the top six newest videos you go back and you just click videos the videos tab on the channel page and then you can go most recent to oldest or whatever you want to do so it's it's there but it's different and I mean I the new layout and everything is something people are still um, adjusting to I think so I'm not I just wanted to put that out there. So if you see it in a blog post, me explaining that, I'm not trying to be like, you should know this, but I mean, I understand that it's it's sometimes hard to pick up on those little things, and and YouTube doesn't exactly make it obvious or always easy on how to to navigate those pages. So. Mm. You should do a live makeup tutorial once. I did that on here at one point and <laughs> it's it's hard it's hard because I want to talk and I get off track a lot but one of these I think I called it named it get ready with me live and it, w it was fun though it was a good time Susan Thomas I find it hard to believe Tyler talk 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 <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's it's funny because we're just I mean we're different personalities and I think sometimes you know in the on-camera stuff that contrast comes out so much because I'm very um, energized and he's just very laid back and that's just how he is and but still you know talking to me you know talks just as much if not more than I do so <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, I wanted to mention this. This was sitting right back here in my last video, and I had so many questions about this. And my first thought was, I wish more people subscribed to my vlog channel because if you did, you'd know what this is. Because I talked about this in my in a vlog where I was cleaning out the closet and I found this little guy. This is from the Body Shop. I got it for Christmas. It says Lily Cole, and it's got a bunch of little beads in there and a little puff. And it's like an all-over body shimmer type thing. Really cute little puff. Oops, dropped it. And then you can go into that. And shimmer to your heart's content. But yeah, that's what's been sitting back there. And I don't know if, I mean, since this somebody got this for me around Christmas time, I'm not sure if it's even still on the market, but that's what's been sitting right back there along with all those other balls. So. I was able to squeeze a few comments out of him at the meetup. I think he was distracted by the cupcake in his hand. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I don't. I'm, I would imagine Tyler was kind of overwhelmed by that whole experience because I was overwhelmed by all of that. So, um, Kristen, Kristen Game is here. She says different personalities complement each other so well. Thank you. I think it. it you know, it worked. It works when you've got somebody who, um, you know, if I'm stressed about something, he is, you know, the calm person who will tell me, you know, it's going to be okay. And I, I need to be taken down a notch sometimes, you know. So a very level-headed, calm person is a good person for me to be around. I get it very excitable in good ways and then I'll get you know stressed or worried about something but I, I don't like to spend a lot of time stressed and I never like to spend a lot of time angry either if I you know if there is a conflict I think we talked about this before on here but I am all about like resolution quickly I, I do not like when things kind of fester or any you have some sort of disagreement and you're sitting around mad like I, I can't sit around mad I don't like that do you miss being on the news, or is it nicer for you to sleep in now? <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I, I've said it before, but I'm enjoying what I'm doing now so much that um, I really just, I don't miss the day-to-day -day grind of the news. Um, because the things, the things that I couldn't do on the news, I can do 
in my beauty broadcast world, which is say whatever I want. <laughs> you know? So, um, if I was still on the news, I wouldn't be doing this at this time right now, you know? So, it just, it, it took such a, ch a valuable chunk of my time and my life, and I was glad I had the experience because it taught me so much, and I love every person I dealt with on that shift. Like, I miss them. But just as far as the tasks and the stuff that I was doing, um, I, I like this so much more for me. Um, so, yeah. Hello, Pasadena, home of the, what do you have there, the Rose Bowl? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a little chilly in here, so I've, this is just a tank top, but I've felt the need to put the little sweater on top there, too. I love Emily Tag. What? Oh, that's probably not necessary. <laughs> um, do you miss the coffee dance? Oh, yes, we had a ritual. Um, me and my coworker Josue, we would do a little coffee ritual. It's on my blog channel. <laughs> <laughs> that I because I don't do that, and we kind of vowed that we would not do that anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, I the people I worked with on that crazy hour, crazy hour of the day, and here's something to talk about. Do you think that a workplace or when you're dealing with primarily men on a shift, there's less drama? than if there's a lot of females, because there weren't a lot of females on my shift. There were there was a time when I was the only one, and I'm talking just that hour of the day, like coming in in the middle of the night and then working through to like mid-morning. That's the shift I'm talking about. So there were many other women at the station, but during that time, it for a while, it was just I was the only girl, and then um, we had a couple others come in at different points throughout the time I was there, but I feel like um, having a lot of guys leads to a lower drama situation at work. And I'm going to refresh this page because I think everything kind of stalled. One day, one day the comments will sync up with everything else. Have you ever been to Canada? No. Um, I've been very, very close, though. <laughs> I know I've been within, like, five miles of Saskatchewan when I was in North Dakota. I was in very North Dakota. Yeah. Women bring drama. And sometimes it's not just the one woman, but it's just the interaction that happens between the other, the other women. Tyler and I were having this discussion last night. I'm sorry, I forgot all my rings today, by the way. I leave them on a little, I have this neat little ring holder that I keep by my bathroom sink, and I put all my rings on there before I go to bed, and then after I get my makeup on and do my hair, which my hair is fairly what I would call done today. <laughs> it just dried. Um, but I put them back on, but I forgot today. Can you show us the flamingo glasses? Oh, I got those for Melissa. <laughs> I just got those for her because I wanted to throw in some funny things, and I got them from Walmart, and I just saw them in with, like, the party supply area. So if you're having, like, a kid's party and you want those funny flamingo glasses, look there. And I just thought she'd get a kick out of that, and... Um, so I put in the note. It's so funny because I don't think she really read the note that I gave her because I said... I got these flamingo glasses for you for you to wear during your video. Ha ha, just kidding. <laughs> and then she was talking throughout the video like I told her she needed to do it. But um, I was glad she put them on. And then also the makeup stuff that I gave her. Um, there was a little pouch and it had some stuff from like Mally and It Cosmetics. She didn't read this to you in her note, but I said that that was her bag of extras because she told me she was giving me a bag of extras. So... That's what that was. That was not in the $50 price range. That was just some extra stuff I thought she might like. 
And so, because some people were saying, oh, you got her so much, or you went so far outside the price range. That was, that was something different, but she didn't say that out loud, so you wouldn't have known. Um, oh, thank you. Thank you, Katie. Updated makeup starter kit and maybe a high-end one. I don't know if I've ever done a high-end makeup starter kit, but some people were asking me about, like, must-haves from MAC, and I thought that would be something I haven't done either because, you you know, you approach the MAC counter for the first time, and I remembered the first time I went to a MAC counter and researching vigorously on YouTube and blogs like what are basics you should get if you just want to try a few things and I'm not a Mac here's the thing do you even care to have that information coming from me because I'm not like a Macaholic I am just a you know I I've accumulated quite a few things and I know what I like from the brand but I haven't tried necessarily every single thing they have to offer but I don't know Yeah, I was glad she put she donned her, those glasses though because I thought she being you know kind of <laughs> she's she's a a funny kind of goofball personality so I just thought she would she would really uh, entertain the audience with those. <laughs> Thank you. Um. Hi, uh, from Indonesia. Is your dominant ancestry Scottish and Black Irish? Um, I know I have English and Irish. Those are my primary, I guess, uh, lines that are drawn back to ancestry in those areas. But there's more. There's actually someone I think in my family who's researching that further. Do you plan to travel? I would love it if you would come to Australia. I would really like to visit Australia. Um, gosh, other side of the world. <laughs> it's just, it can be hard um, to, oh my gosh, there's a little kid riding a tricycle. Oh, how precious. Um, but, you no, know, it's just hard to, you know, organize that kind of thing. And I feel like you, I'm, I'm not the greatest at researching, like, okay, what do I do here? And what do I, you know, like, I feel like a lot of thought goes into those kind of trips because you don't want to miss anything and you want to see as much as you can. And I'm just like, I don't know. I need somebody to help me on that. <laughs> By the way, next, this is just a very recent development as of, like, just last night. But I cannot do this next Thursday. I'm either going to have to reschedule probably reschedule it for a different day, maybe a different time, because I'm going to be in New York for that one day <laughs> on a project that I don't know if I can share about it yet or what I can really say about it yet, but um, next Thursday is when I'm going to be there. So, yeah. I'm excited. <laughs> I wish I could talk about it more, but I'm just not sure, like, where that stands. So, um I will tell you as soon as I can share more. I'll probably be able to tweet about it or talk about it somewhat, but... Oh my gosh, I forgot to tweet the link of where I was live. Dang it. I hope everybody found me. <laughs> I normally tweet out the link of, of where... that uh, the fact that I'm broadcasting this. No, Cupcake has not appeared yet. Washington State. Um, morning from Connecticut. Yeah, um, Emily says, how about I tried this not that within brands like um, Wet n Wild or different ones. Um, yeah, that's kind of, it's kind of what I do in my one brand tutorials because I take the things I used and then um, say at the end, you know, what I like and what I didn't like. But you've got a good point there because sometimes you've got more products than can be included in the one brand tutorial so you've got other things that you weren't able to reference so that's a good good idea there I love getting your ideas by the way video ideas because I have a little um, notepad that I jot them all down on I've got a little um, 
thing here, and I put my ideas for videos. This is more recent. I've got a notepad with even more, um, but videos and blogs and then vlogs. So accepting ideas for blogs, too, <laughs> random stuff. Yeah, it might be an excuse to do another BBPJ party. Oh, and I would love to do a meetup while I was in New York, but it's going to be a quick just business trip. So, um, yeah, I. <laughs> Can you get a P.O. box? I'm thinking about getting a P.O. box. I've held off um, just because I, I didn't want people to think they needed to, like, take their time and money to send me something. But it would be it would be kind of nice to have one. Um, this is from L'Oreal, and the shade is um, Because You're Worth It. And I've got a little glitter on that one nail. So, yeah. That's a good idea. I do it because maybe I could do it. Oh, but then I've got Kaylee staying with me on Friday night. Maybe Kaylee would be willing to take part in some live fun, <laughs> depending on how weary she is from her from her trip here from Kansas City. <laughs> yeah, see, we've got back to back weekends with with guests here. What did Tyler think about you starting YouTube makeup videos? I don't think he truly understood it at first. I mean, he was always supportive of, of what I was doing, but I don't think he really got, you know, why. Because, <laughs> I mean, I, and I was not extremely confident with what I was doing. Like, I knew I wanted to do it, but it just felt strange at first, and there weren't a ton of other people doing it when I started, so it was kind of like feeling things out. And I think over time, when he saw the response to my videos and that people were watching and commenting, I think he was like, wow, you know, you've really reached some people with this. And so he obviously completely gets it now, but... I think when I started, he was a little bit like, you know, okay, she's going in that room and closing the door and shooting videos. <laughs> but he's obviously seen, you know, the connections I've been able to make with new friends and, and things like this. And so he just kind of, you know, saw the evolution and supported it, and which I, which I think is very important. But when I did my YouTube channel, I think back to those initial videos, and I think about how, you know, gosh, would, looking at myself then, I would have done my makeup differently. I would have, you know, just done my videos differently. I would have closed the closet behind me, you know, like stuff like that. But yet, I really don't think my channel has been something where I come to you as an expert on anything. I just come to you, and I've been, like, basically sharing my makeup journey with you. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, you know, I feel like I understand products pretty well and have tried a lot of things, but as a whole, like, what you see on my channel, if you go back to 2000, 2007, 2008, and then watch up till now, you're seeing someone's personal, like, evolution. Not just in makeup knowledge or anything like that, but just as a human being, you know, um, I feel like it's given me more confidence, and and I've also, you know, gotten more confidence through having done the news, and just, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with this ramble, <laughs> but I just, that's what I think when I see those, when I see those, um, okay, I just got a text here, when I see those old videos, it comes back to, to that kind of thought. Um, the Tyler's sister says, so do you guys like peaches? <laughs> um, yes, we do. And your comment and your text, I'll say, just... <laughs> you guys have seen Sarah. If you, if you watch from way back, you know who Sarah is. Just made it on Beauty Broadcast Live. See, so, oops, I totally misspelled that. I said, 
Uh. <laughs> um, first video I ever did, okay, it was my elf um, brush review. And then on my 800th video, I remade that. Thank you. Um, Dragon's Vanity says, I love looking back at your old videos. It shows progression and growth, showing you're actually a real person. Yeah, I mean, that's, I, I like that. Uh, because I, I like seeing that in other people as well who make YouTube videos because I think um, I've always been interested in the person. You know, I don't just like to watch somebody because they're giving me good information, but once you watch somebody, maybe you're drawn in because they did something informative, but then I get like attached and I'm kind of like, well, I want to know about them and what they, you know, why they do what they do and what kind of person are they? What kind of life are they leading? You know, <laughs> so. Fave moment was you tasting Pup's apple dumpling last Thanksgiving day. <laughs> yeah, Linda, that was a moment. That was quite the moment. Sarah, no, Sarah is not uh, one of the twins. She, um, Tyler's got three younger sisters, an older brother, and then three younger sisters. Sarah is like just a year younger. He was, she was a year under us in school, and then a couple years younger than her are the twins. And they're all tall, blonde, beautiful. You've seen them probably in some videos or some pictures somewhere or something. But um, I'm so excited for her and her husband, Chuck. They'll be staying with us this weekend. Sarah is awesome. Sarah actually had a YouTube channel. She continues to have a YouTube channel. Um, oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, Southern Illinois, where I live, is actually known for some pretty fantastic peaches. We have a lot of, well, there's, there are a lot of vineyards down here, but there are also, you know, a lot of peaches being grown in this area. You were so cute in that first video. Were you chewing gum? <laughs> Uh, no, no, I, even then, I knew not to chew gum and do videos at the same time, but I had a very poor quality camera, and it muffled my voice like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> well, you would believe it, because you may have seen it. <laughs> oh, nice. I'm bringing you about a dozen of the best peaches you'll ever eat. <laughs> Awesome. Thanks. <laughs> um, yes, I have an older brother and an older sister. My older sister is Pup, and she has a new YouTube channel, by the way. Yes, she, well, it's kind of, she's had a YouTube channel before, but this is kind of the relaunch of it. She's doing videos on it consistently now, and she did um, a gorgeous speed painting, like she um, did an eye in watercolors and sped it up so you can see the process start to finish. It's so cool. And you do feel like, I said this in my Facebook post, but you feel like you're watching makeup being applied. It's so cool. Um, when did you start wearing makeup? This has been so random and fun, but I do have a face of the day to tell you about. Um, I started, I think I was in 7th or 8th grade, and I was doing cheerleading at that time and just wanted a little bit. And I remembered, it was more like the thought process. Like, I wanted to think that before I went out and did my cheerleading, I needed to, and it was so minor, but put on like a little bit of powder and get myself ready and put on some lip gloss, and it was just basically powder lip gloss and maybe some mascara. You want to see a picture of the peaches? She just sent it. She got some homegrown peaches there. <laughs> By the way, my phone case broke. So I got a new, I ordered a new makeup related phone case. So. Um, 
her you Sarah's YouTube Sarah Julien. Sarah J U L I N E. Yeah. So um I'm sorry, something really weird's happening to this window. Whenever your phone dings, I look at my phone. Yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Um I, what eyeshadows did you use for the Mall of America meetup? Um, thank you. I did the Dare palette from Sigma, and I have on beautybroadcast.net a full breakdown of, you know, what I used, and I showed the swatches of them and everything, so check it out. Um, I'll show you my face of the day, and it's pretty, I don't know, kind of natural, kind of not. Oops. Okay, let me take some things out here so I can get to the bottom of this. Um, I used a primer. I used my Time Balm primer. I know what I'll do. I'll put it away as I get it out so I can get to clean it in here. Um, I used my Avon Magic's Cashmere Advanced Liquid Foundation. Kind of reminds me of the L'Oreal Visible Lift Foundation. So it's something that may, doesn't give you a totally matte finish. It gives you decent coverage, maybe a little better coverage than that one, but it, it leaves you um, with a little bit of a glow to your skin. Not shimmer, not sparkle, but something about it like gives your skin a more natural appearance. So I got that in natural beige. It is a dead-on match for my skin tone. And so I'll have some Avon, new Avon reviews coming from what I ordered from my Avon representative. And then um, Neutrogena Healthy Skin SPF 20 powder. So that's just um, kind of a matte powder. So I took the semi-matte, somewhat glowy foundation and put a matte powder over it. Um, I used, this was a gift from David, I've talked about this before, my Guerlain uh, Terracotta Bronzing Powder in 02. It's a pretty warm bronzer, but I have a little bit of that on in here in here and it's matte. So yay. For blush I pulled out something I haven't used in a while. This is from e.l.f. and this is in um, Pink Passion. It's that really bright pink. Are you picking up on that? Very bright and very matte. Um, quick question. What camera do you use? It's a Canon Vixia HFS 200. Canon Vixia HFS 200, and that's not what you see me on here. This is just a webcam, but you probably see the difference. In a video, um, I used that camera. And this, I pulled out this oldie but goodie. Um, this is my Physician's Formula Happy Booster Powder. I think the shade is translucent, and I just used this for a little bit of a highlight. Yes. You watch the video of, of Pup painting the eye, that's good. Oh, the Benefit Primer. Thank you for mentioning that. I'm going to sit that out because I have some comments on that. Benefit Primer. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, oh, on my concealer today, I used this, something I got from Sally's. It's the Femme Couture Under Eye Concealer. And the reason why I got this is because it has like a, it's concealer. Hmm. It's concealer, but it's got like a moisturizing core in there. It's just the exact opposite configuration of Benefit's Fake Up, which has the moisturizer around the outside. I like it better being on the inside because then when I don't want the extra moisture, I can, like around my nose, I can just use the outer part of this stick. But it is, it is rather hydrating and smooth and brightening, so I'm kind of liking this, this stick concealer. Um, I got it in light because I really wanted something brightening for right in there. So I used that. Um, I used the Laura Mercier. Oh, this is so backwards, guys. I used a little erase paste in her corners, and then I topped it all off with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And a lot of you gave me great feedback on that and, and what you like about it or what you don't like about the secret brightening powder and I had been questioning whether or not it was really supposed to brighten and a lot of you said no it doesn't really brighten but the reason why you like it is that it doesn't crease 
or it doesn't um, show fine lines and that sort of thing. So um, that would be why you said you liked it. And so I've been using it on and off with different things. And I, I mean, I like it. I don't know that I've found that I find it so amazingly different that I would repurchase. Yes, thank you, Stacy. My sister's channel is called Art Food Kitty. <laughs> search that. Search that on YouTube because she's going to have more like food videos and stuff with her cats and all kinds of things. Um, okay, that's the eyeshadow. I've been using this Milani eyeshadow base, just been reaching for it like every single time I do my eyes. And I feel like. I, w I would recommend this, but at the same time, my mind always goes back to the e.l.f. $1 eye primer, and I think that works great for me, too, you know? So I, I don't know if that e.l.f. $1 primer works for everyone, but I have no problem with that stuff. Um, okay, on the actual eyes, we used the Estee Lauder. Um, this is the automatic brow pencil in dark brown. I've been using this to try to give them, I don't know, I feel like it gives them the softest look possible. And then I got a new quad from Revlon. This is in the shade Siren. Um, shade is Siren and it's got, this is actually, it might be showing up white, but this is silver. Two different shades of taupe, one more grayish, one more, um, I don't know, it's got a little more brown in it. And this is a matte kind of charcoal color. And so that's what I used on my eyes today to give a little bit of, of a smoky, smoky look. And But I don't like using silver as a highlight up here, so I brought in my Milani French Vanilla Matte Highlight up in there. I like this, by the way. I, I like this very much. Um, if, do I swatch? I know the swatches won't come off awesome, but I'll give you a little. There's three of those shades. Rather nice. Um, I don't know if anybody, any of you out there have tried this, but I just kind of got very interested in this as I was looking at it in uh, the store the other day. And then I used my Mally um, Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner in Midnight, so that's just a black. And I did that on waterline and upper lash line. Um, I used... Oh, did I already put that away? No. This that Kristen gave me. The Super Thick Lash, that's the brush, and I put on two coats of that on my upper lashes. So it thickens them up nicely. Um, actually holds the curl decently, too. So we may have found something pretty good in this. Thank you, Kristen, again for that. And then, oh, I use this little tight line thing from It Cosmetics just on the lower lashes. It's like a a brush tinier than Lash Discovery. I don't think I like it better than Lash Discovery, though. And then on my lips, this is the Chanel thing that I got, the Coco Shine and Saga. So. It keeps the color, the color hangs around a while, but the shine goes away fairly quickly. So there's that. I used the lip liner in Baby Berry from Jordana. And look at me, cleaning as I go. Woohoo! Okay, um, Pup should make iPhone cases with her paintings. Yeah, because she's already got a ton of stuff. You can get calendars and coffee mugs and all kinds of stuff. I wonder if, um, what's the, I think it's Image Kind. Or no, it's Cafe Press. Cafe Press is the website she makes those, she has those on. That would be awesome if she had iPhone cases of them. Um, which is your favorite Sigma palette? I like Dare, personally. Dude, I've been using that all the time. I've been using that Dare palette. I mean, and at first I kind of thought, well, there's probably only one look I can get out of this. But I keep using it, and I've, you know, I did more more of a yellow pop in, in like, that video, the haul video, and um, you can work in more of the plum. The plum and the peach looks gorgeous together. So that is one of those palettes where, you know, I think 
it, it's a great summertime palette because of those those fun kind of sunny bright colors but I could see that going into fall too and I feel like maybe you um, could weigh in on this as well but I feel like there's a real blur between some of the shades that look good in summer and also look good in fall summer I think of like really pretty bronzy kind of glowy coppery shadows and yet those are some of the same things that I think look good in fall also so yep 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 <laughs> Um, so let's talk about this, the Stay Flawless 15-Hour Primer. Um, the way, guys, the way they say to use this, which is a stick, looks skin tone. Looks skin tone there. This is the way you have to show things. Uh, when you're in a video, you have to show it like this so it'll focus. And when you're on webcam, you got to show like this so <laughs> it doesn't get washed out. But um, it has a, a definite feeling of moisture to it and kind of cool like cool is in temperature cool um, but anyway they say you want to apply this and then immediately get your foundation on so the foundation almost um, changes formula a little bit like mixes with this and becomes a very long wearing thing on your face and anytime I've done that so you're supposed to put this on Oh, do I still have my little info thing, or did I put that away somewhere? Um, I have to look for it later, but I'm pretty sure what they said was you put it on, don't even take time to blend it into your skin, and then put your foundation on top. And I found that when I did it that way, I did not like the way my foundation looked, and I thought my foundations looked more obvious on my skin. I could see them more. Um, it was just kind of strange. So what I did and the way this ended up working better for me was to put it all over my face take a minute to blend it in and make sure you know I didn't have more in one area than another because obviously if you're just going over your face randomly some places are gonna have this on it some places aren't so I buffed it in then applied foundation as usual on top with a brush and I thought I had better staying power and a better look on the skin doing it that way but is this better than anything else I've tried? No, I don't think so. Um, so that's just my opinion. And I've used it quite a bit. And I've been kind of slow to say what I think about it because, you know, you use something the recommended way and it doesn't it necessarily go the way you want it. So you use it a different way and it works a little bit better, but, you know. I heard you need it area by area. Yeah, that's what people have said. That's what you know instructions have said. But that's just what wasn't what worked. I didn't think my foundation looked as good that way. That's just my opinion. But you may have had a different experience with that. So I don't know. I've been ignoring my coffee. Mm. Okay. We're getting some feedback. It looked cakey that way. I like to give it time to set and blend it and blend as well. Yeah, because it, it's strange. It's it's not like this dries super quickly on your skin. Like I'm not sure what the real need is to, you know, their mindset of put it on and immediately get your foundation on top of it. Because I think it's it I still had good staying power without it. Um or without doing it in that way. But yeah, primers, primers are tricky. What is your favorite cereal? If I could have absolutely any cereal I wanted, I would have Fruity Pebbles probably or Cocoa Pebbles. But I don't. <laughs> and the cereal, I if I do eat cereal, which I really haven't been eating it that much, but what I'll have is something that's not so sugary. So I'll have like um, Rice Chex or something. Are you still in love with the balms in stain? Absolutely. Those blushes are so great. Really a different kind of blush. And if you get one home, you'll you'll notice it. They are um, extremely bold. And they remind me of like a sleek blush in that way, but they even have even more of like a cling factor to the skin. They they just, you know, really stick on there. <laughs> 
Um, don't ignore your coffee. <laughs> I slept through most of the live chat, but I'm here now. Hi, Valerie. Welcome. Hashtag flamingo alpacas. <laughs> Can we come up with a witty hashtag for alpacas? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Best primary. You guys are just on it with the questions today. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Best primer I've ever used. Best primer I've ever used. Well, I'm gonna go. Uh, there was a there was a long period of time when I was new to primers where I thought that Smashbox Photo Finish was the way to go, and then I kind of I I came to this. This is the Mali Perfect Prep, and this is probably the most luxurious, nicest feeling primer. I do feel like it, it has an impact on pores and the visibility of pores. I think it it kind of fills in a little bit more. But like it feels so very rich and creamy, but it, it blends out to an absolutely lightweight feel on the skin. So that that dynamic of this primer is I think what makes it work for me because I don't I don't like to feel a lot of thickness. I don't I already feel like I like I gravitate toward foundations that are long wearing and full coverage. So therefore I don't want another heavy layer. I don't want my primer to be another heavy layer. So I like that one for that reason. This one I do feel more more weight to this. I feel like it's something more on my skin. So yeah. Um, and for for like a drugstore primer, um, I've enjoyed the Sheer Envy from Hard Candy. That has a really silky light feel. Um, I've also liked this one too. This is the I'm almost out of this. This is Rimmel Fix and Oops, <laughs> Rimmel Fix and Perfect Pro. And this is not maybe as silky. But it still, I think, um, works really well, and it does somehow even out the texture. And it's good, I think, if you've got dry patches, especially good. If you've um, got patches of your skin where the foundation clings a little bit. Sorry, it got a little cloudy here if the lighting has changed. Um, but that's the, the fix and perfect in the blue and white. Do you ever use your Mad Men collection or not? Yes, I do. They're right up there. <laughs> It's a gorgeous blush, but I've got to say, I've got a mentality where I don't want to ever run out of it, <laughs> which I know is silly because I bought it, but it's like it's so nice, and even if I do run out, I'll obviously keep the packaging, but, and the lipstick, I, I actually use that lipstick more than I probably use the blush, um, and it's just a classic kind of pink lipstick. Uh, Tyler is at work right now. Hi, Sweden. Um, did you feel like a star at the meet and greet? Um, yeah, because I don't, that doesn't happen. <laughs> Those kinds of situations do not happen to me. So I was very in shock at that meet and greet because I, I would have been thrilled if, you know, a handful of people came, but a lot of people came and I've never done those really. I think kind of for just lack of knowing how many people would show up and so when so many people did I was really um, amazed and very and just kind of a little bit overwhelmed and uh, do you shave your arm hairs no <laughs> like I had to check to know if I did or not no um, wow there's so many questions, like, normally there are questions on this, but today there are, like, a ton of questions. I'm going to refresh this page. Also, um, in case you didn't notice on that haul that I did, I did put some swatches of the palettes I talked about on my blog. Um, shop my stash blogs. Yeah, I need to do another one of those. What I've been trying to do a little bit more um, 
what I've been trying to do a little bit more of is just using from my stash because I feel like my stash is pretty well organized. I'm talking about everything I use. So I'm trying to just think to use it better in the areas where I have it stored. You know what I mean? Like just knowing that, okay, I haven't worn a um, neutral lipstick in a while and I know they're right here so I'm just going to go to that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to make better use of just the fact that I have things well organized here but I know shopping my stash does visually help um, to use different things. Alpaca lunch. Alpaca lunch! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Malika126 is so funny. That is great. Would you ever dye your hair a different color? I don't think so. I've played with a lot of apps. <laughs> I've played with a lot of goofy apps that change your hair color, but I don't know. I, I just think this is this is me, you know? This is my color. Color lovers matte. Ooh, fun. How do you guys come up with so many good ideas? <laughs> Did I miss? Oh, I should get her. I'm going to go get her real quick. I'll be right back. She's probably taking a nap right now. So just a second. Here we go. Cupcake says hello. Your tail is very straight and very still. Did you vomit this morning on the floor? Yes, I did. Oh. All right. So wave goodbye. Goodbye, everybody. She's taking a very important nap and just cannot be bothered. Mm. <laughs> yep, that's the cake. <laughs> oh my gosh, I somebody sent me a uh, taser sent me a funny link to something goofy that happened amongst her local news anchors. And so I'd watch that, and there were links to other funny news blooper things on the side. And one of them was, like, the top ten best moments when animals, like, invade the news or, or rudely, when animals rudely interrupt the newscast or something. And, like, there are a bunch of people out on live shots and, like, a horse is, you know... <laughs> right in the background and just all kinds of ridiculous stuff happening and the one was the classic news blooper that you've probably seen where the girl is holding the cat she's live out live at an animal shelter the cat is letting out noises like Row! but she's still holding it and she should have she should have just let the thing down you know when a cat is making really you know crazy noises like that but she keeps holding it and then right at the end of what she's saying, the cat jumps up and like goes like that, like at her face. And right before they cut to her story, you see her standing there like, like she is horrified and probably in pain. And so <laughs> that that is one news blooper. You see a reporter with cat, that probably will come up. Um, but gosh, I can't get over that stuff. Mm, best glowy drugstore highlight. Well, one that I've talked about in my like highlight dupes. This is one of the one of my favorites, and it's the Tiki from Hard Candy. You can get a pretty good glow on with this, but it's not as I hate swatching on the webcam, but it's not as super metallic as as it might appear to be. It's really nice. It looks very pretty on it. And then for a drugstore highlight, it's a little more matte, that, then I would go toward the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana and stuff like that. 
Baker! <laughs> I know, I always, whenever I go get her, she's always in the same spot out there. She's in, and, it's, and she just loves it. It is right in front of the window, there's sun coming in, and she is in her happy place. And then I take her away from it. But you know what? She does her her life is not that rough around here. So <laughs> Um, who were your idols growing up? Well, this is going to let you give you a peek into my crazy world, but when I was growing up, I loved watching local news every morning and there's an old man his name was Bob Turek, and he was in the Quincy, Illinois market. Um, WGEM was the station he was on, and he would do the farm market reports, like talking about cattle and talking about grain prices and all this kind of stuff. I, as a little kid, did not even know what he was talking about. He might have been talking a foreign language as far as I was concerned, but you know how little kids get about routines and, like, wanting to, you know, see the same thing over and over and getting excited when it happens. So he would come on at the same time every morning doing this farm report, and he was kind of an old man, and I would get so excited to see him. And I, like, wrote him a letter. I actually wrote him, wrote about him in a report about, like, my, who I would want to trade jobs with for a day. And, like, he just became my little, like, person that I loved watching on TV. And so that was a very non-typical thing, you know, for a little kid to like, but that was what I liked. And, and also, watching the news in the morning, some people had asked, because I've mentioned this in vlogs or something, and people said, you know, did your parents force you to watch the news? Or, no. No, it was just kind of on in the house, so I made a point after I got up in the morning, I would just like sit there or lay down and watch it for like maybe a half hour. So, <laughs> yep. Ah, oh, it's crazy to see you live. This is my first beauty broadcast live. Well, welcome, people. Yeah, this is the, the randomest of the random that I do. You never know what's going to come up. Hi, Kentucky. Do I need to come up with a Kentucky song, kind of like the Finland song? Because I think there are a lot of Kentucky viewers out there. Hmm. All I can think of is the Finland song that I sing now. <laughs> oh, yay for no more summer school. Good for you. That's awesome. Favorite drugstore slash high-end lipstick? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't know. Um, there's so many floating through my head right now. One that is some somewhat new to me, but that I'm growing an obsession with, is the NYX Matte Lipsticks. NYX Matte Lipsticks are just great. And somebody said, uh, I would watch Bob Ross. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy Little Trees or something. <laughs> um, some people will say, why will you put a gloss on top of a matte lipstick? Isn't it meant to be matte? Well, sometimes you just want the color, right? And sometimes you'll wear it matte, and sometimes you'll put something on top. You can do whatever you want. Um, hi, Alabama. Current favorite lip products. Lots of lip product questions. Um, well, I'll tell you what. I absolutely am nuts about the Neutrogena Moisture Smooth Color Sticks. And these, these are the bomb. And I was just wearing one yesterday, and I hadn't worn one for a little while because my lips have been so dry. And so I'm like, what can I put on that's you know not going to dry them out even more? And these are so good. And these, as you might hear in an upcoming tutorial, hint, hint, um, I wore these in North Dakota in February when it was like 20 below, and I, my lips never got chapped. That's all I have to say about that. Um, oh, something I forgot to tell you guys about in my last, the last time I did this. A great lip color combo for you neutral girls. Okay, if you like a pretty, pretty lip color that is not too bright, let me tell you, 
Let me tell you the combo. I think this is worth taking off what I have and trying to start over here. Oh. Yeah, this is leaving my lips a little bit pink. But I think what I'm going to show you is going to cover it up. House of Pigmentation. Are you talking about the Neutrogena ones? Because it's great. Great colors. The berry one, sweet watermelon, the raisin one, the um, papaya. Get them. Get them. Try one. Come back on here and tell me how it was. You like wet and wild mascara? Heck no. No, I don't. I've, I've had s repeated bad experiences. Valerie, you win a gold star. I did call those the sweatpants of lip products. Yeah, yeah, you too, Dragon Vanity. Okay. Um, neutral lip combo that looks gorgeous. This is the Tarte lipstick in Inspired. It's a very neutral um, with a little bit of a pink tone. And so these are very full color. So I put that on. And if you have really dry lips, or your lips have a lot of lines, you may see some lineage. Just a warning. But that's going to be solved in a second when I take L'Oreal Color Riche in Rich Pink. Some people were saying, I've never seen those. Are these new? They're not. Um, they're right, they're just tucked right in with the lipsticks and the lip liners. Um, L'Oreal groups their lip products kind of according to color family. So you look in the pink or mauve area and you'll find this. This is called Rich Pink. And I put this over the top. It, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but this is going to lighten the lip color ever so slightly. Give it a subtle amount of shine. And I believe this could work for absolutely any occasion. I love this lip color. It's not too pink. It's not too neutral. I mean, it's just outstanding, these two together. And another one that I liked wearing with this, if you want even more of a pink look, guys, if you're saying, hey, I ain't scared of pink, the Kate Moss 103. As you can see, it's going to be much pinker than this. Okay, so, wow. Love. Kate Moss, um, these matte lipsticks are some of the most comfortable, non-drying matte lipsticks I've tried. From Rimmel. Alpaca, ha I think hashtag alpaca lunch is pretty great. But this, it just works with anything. I, when did I, the, the day I made this dis, lip discovery was when I was getting ready to go to dinner the night before the Sigma event. And I, I had these two. I was wearing a leopard print dress. And I was like, mm, I don't want to, you know, do screaming bright lips with this look. And when you're having dinner, you know, it's like, you don't necessarily want a super high maintenance like bright red lip or bright pink lip to um, be something that's going to wear off funny. So I wore this because it, it kind of, um, your lips but better. That's the way to describe this probably. So I know it's not like a, a fabulous, like crazy bright color, but these, this is a nice combo. Should I blog about these? <laughs> um, what have you used on your brows today? Um, I use what I've kind of been using consistently for a while. It's the automatic brow pencil from Estee Lauder. This is a, it's in dark brown, but this is not super dark and it's very dry. Like the color is so hard. I mean, it comes off in a very, very subtle way. Like a, mm, where is it? Very soft. So soft in color, but hard in feel. <laughs> and I did a little brow makeover on myself on um, on this past Saturday. I went to town. I, I plucked a lot. I, um, 
I like cut tri did a trim up in here. So I don't know. I never know what to think. I can love my eyebrows and then have people telling me um, what was one of the top comments on one of my videos. My eyebrows are cray. <laughs> cray good? <laughs> can I assume that? Thank you. Um, this brush. This was one of the Kristen things from my haul. This is from Walmart. Um, it's one of the high def brushes. Oh, soft as a bunny. Mm. Yes. This is impre an impressive brush from Walmart. Dense. Kristen said she'll even use this with certain um, foundations if they're not too thick. Um, so, yeah, I use this for blush. You can use it for some highlight. You can use it for some contour. This actually would be very nice for a contour. So, check them out. This is the only one I have, um, but people have been telling me there are other good ones of this type from Walmart. Um, yeah, this body shop bowl that was found, lost in my closet. It once was lost, but now it's found. And um, it's nice enough. I mean, it's just kind of shimmery. It's more cute than anything, right? I don't know. It says Lily Cole, and I don't know if that's still available or not. Oh, it does have a shade. Puff on Radiance. Puff on Radiance. That's what it's called, y'all. Cray eyebrows. <laughs> Cray. I never say that. Maybe I'll start. Toss that in with totes and whatevs. Gosh, a lot of first timers. First time is coming in late. Needing to go to the secretary's office. Get you a tardy slip. Thank you. Yes, I have that It Cosmetics Giant Fan Brush. It is a very thick brush, and it's something I've had one of those for a while and didn't really use it for a long time. But that's designed to be used with a bronzer, and it can make a. It's nice because it can be used in so many different angles, just depending on your placement on the face. That can easily contour. That can cover a lot of surface area as you go down here. Um, you can go around the hairline very quickly and easily. It's just such a large brush. It's going to get the job done quickly, but it's cut in that fan brush way um, so that, you know, it, it just can get different shapes going on. And it's very much not like a thin, like I have a thin little fan brush that I'll use to dust away fallout or something. This one is a heavy duty application type fan brush. I've got it down there in my drawer. Um, best matte things from the drugstore. That would be good because I've done one on best matte eyeshadows, I think. But I haven't really done one um, talking about blushes, lipsticks, all that. It's already 10.31. <laughs> Hashtag alpaca lunch. Oh, and YOLO. <laughs> Thank you, Makeup by Jess. <laughs> totes my goats. I love totes my goats. Totes creek. <laughs> Rebecca says, I've taken bets we make it all the way to 11. <laughs> and we always go over like a good 15 minutes, so who knows? Um, but yeah, this brush, check it out. Just look around at Walmart. Look at these brushes. Um, this was packaged alone, and I come to think of it, I think there are some sets, sets of brushes. Um, gosh, are you using the Clarisonic? Yes, um, that's still a three time a week thing for me, and it's just been working well that way, so that's the way I do it. Yes, Autumn La Makeup, um, that fan brush, I have one, and I had another one, so I gave her one. Yes, indeed. Can you all do this fish face? Anyone? <laughs> oh, so 
sometimes I, I almost expect to hear a verbal response from you, but I have to just read your comment. <laughs> Love you too, 21 Derma 17. Mm. Shout out London. If you, if, you, <laughs> if you could only shop at one store, what would it be? Just for anything or just for makeup? Just in life for absolutely anything. Well, I've got to eat. It's got to. It's got to have food. It's got to have makeup. It's got to have clothing. Hmm. Walgreens doesn't really have clothes. Maybe Target because the Target I have now because Target has more. You know, the, more than Walmart, they've got better. I think an overall better clothing selection. So maybe I would have to go Target. Yeah, because then I can get my food, because our Target now does has a whole grocery section, so food, gifts, clothes, makeups. Uh, best drugstore lip stain. Drugstore lip stain. Mm. You know, I really like this. The Maybelline Super Stay. Ten stain gloss really does stain. The gloss won't last forever, but the stain really, really does. And this is a pretty color. This uh, 120. If you like red or um, pinkish berry reds, pretty fishy, fishy. That's what I think about. Is that um, was it a McDonald's commercial where there was a fish on the wall? And they were talking about like fish fillets, and then they'd say fishy, fishy. <laughs> Shout out to Singapore. Okay, it's after 10:30. All bets are off. I cannot make any guarantees as to what's going to happen here. Jenny wants to talk all day. You know what I am gonna do after I get done with this though? Taser will do something with that fish face, right? <laughs> um, I'm gonna edit my one brand tutorial. I am going to, um, what else do I need to do? Well, dishes are done. That's good. I got to write a blog. I got to write the next day's blog, too. Yeah, I got to get that going on in advance. Because, like I said, got some company coming this weekend. Oh, I need to figure out if there's anything else I need to pick up and and maybe plan out some snack or recipe things. How about doing a tutorial only using products you don't like? You want to see me get mad, don't you? <laughs> you want to see me become angry and frustrated. <laughs> Total rant. Have you seen Duck Dynasty? Absolutely I have, and I enjoy that very much. I enjoy it very much. Uh, what was that comment that the... Um, any decent woman has to have a goat or two. <laughs> Love it. Love it. I was hoping you do two tutorials on your past two video looks. The Hall of America pink eyeshadow look and your Mall of America meet and greet with the yellow eyeshadow. Okay, um, the yellow was in the hall and then the meet and greet recap, recap was the pink. And yeah, Oh, thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed them, Lala. Um, the pink I was using, I think I Instagrammed it. It would be a good tutorial because it's hard sometimes to know how to pull off those bright shades. And we were talking about this on the Beauty Broadcast community chat a couple days ago about, you know, how do you work with stuff like this? Um, this is shocking pink from Milani, and I think one of the things that has made it work for me because you're like, well, th won't that make my eyes look sick, or it won't work with my eye color? I think black eyeliner is so important because it becomes like a barrier. Okay, it lets you work with whatever you want, and then I think doing something somewhat neutral in the crease 
and so your pop-up color becomes whatever's on the lid. For example, during the Mall of America haul video, when I was looking right at you, you probably couldn't even see the yellow, but it was coming up like a pop when I would look down, right? So it makes it kind of that subtle peekaboo sort of bright color effect if you've got a little bit of a neutral going on in your crease, and that black eyeliner really creates a division between the product and your eye and it keeps the eye looking really nicely defined and um, just really creates a contrast with the whites of your eye whereas if you skip the liner and just went bright on the lid it would be a different look and it might work on some people and not others but I'm just saying for I think the most universally good look would be to do black eyeliner when you're doing a bright color on your lids Um, Paige is about to order some high quality brushes. Do you definitely recommend Sigma brushes? Yeah, Paige, um, that's, that would be the kind of brush I use the most and probably the most comprehensive sets of brushes. Um, I've got some good individual brushes, for example, here and there that I like for maybe Real Techniques or Target or different ones, but if you want to get a set, um, I think Sigma does the sets the best. And the, um, the essential kit is a good one if you're looking for basics. And what I might do is get, like if I were starting from scratch, I might go with the essential kit and you can get it in those different formats like the Make Me Classy so you can get those brush cups. But essential kit and then I might throw in the, um, the uh, oh goodness, I had to set my brushes down here to get my computer in this spot, but just a second. <laughs> What is this, the F25 um, with the pinched top here? I would get this as like an additional brush because this is such a good thing in the crease, this one. And I don't have these. This is from the old set, so it doesn't have the correct numbering on it anymore. Um, but gosh, is it, am I saying it? Is it F25, F35? Oh, messes with my mind. Um, but this is a really great eye brush, so I would maybe tack that on. And if you really want to go big, F80 for foundation. And then you've got your foundation brush. you got a, pardon my French, but kick-ass eye brush. And then you have your set of, full set of face brushes and other eye brushes, too. So that would be my uh, idea for you. <laughs> if I were to go out and shop it for you and bring you home what you needed, that's what I would bring home. Oh yeah, um, tonight's dinner will be tilapia and salad because it is a diet day. So I'm going to be doing my um, skillet crisp tilapia and making up a little salad along with it. Maybe I'll put on my apron for that. <laughs> Melissa, if you're out there, I'm going to put on the apron. And I'll make sure to make it well documented with pictures and everything. <laughs> um, yeah, because next next uh, beauty broadcast live will not be at this time for sure um, so I'll recap oh taser just said give me back that filet of fish give me that fish oh. this has been kind of a strange day <laughs> um, so yeah I'm gonna have to figure it out because I'm gonna be going in New York next Thursday for a quick there and back kind of thing so I'll have to kind of figure out exactly when I'll be back and what's going on there maybe I have an email about it I don't know mm -hmm. nope I don't um yeah awesome well we need to talk at the end if you're new to this at the end we I like to hear from you and talk about what you have coming up, what things you need some prayers for, some good vibes for, what you need some just people to be thinking about you for because we're a big group on here and we care about each other. So um, if you've got something that you're kind of concerned about or you could use a little support for, um, type in here. And yeah. Uh, what shape do you put for your shadows on the very outer part of the crease? What shape do you put for your for your shadows on the very outer part of your crease. Valerie, um, okay. I kind of go 
this is kind of a soft thing. See how we got shadow coming out here? Um, I keep an, a, an invisible line in my head that goes from the corner of my eye to the edge of my eyebrow. And so I mentally think of not really going past that line down here because then it would make my eye look not so lifted. So what I will do if I'm really trying to be precise is I'll take a smallish brush. Um, you could take this one. You could take an, a pencil brush. I'm just reaching for what I have handy here. But take a smallish brush. Let's just do it. And then I'll check out some of your comments. Oh, bar exam in four days. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Tyler's been through that. That is, I'm thinking about you. Dark shade. I'm going to put it right out here. And I like to just go kind of circular and I'm, see, see where we're pointing to? Pointing right up there. Up toward that area. I need to make it apparently a little bit darker because the webcam only shows so much. But I'll do that on both eyes here real quick. So we're pulling upward. And we're practically, we're moving that brush back in the direction of the tip of our eyebrow. So we're building the shape and we're putting the shadow exactly where we want it. And then we take a fuller brush and I'm using that to just kind of take away the edge. And then if you're looking at the look and you're thinking, well, just did it, but, but things appear to be going lower than I want them to, um, feel free to take a Q-tip that's dampened in a little bit of, um, darn it, I don't have a clean Q-tip. Hold on, I've got one. <laughs> Um, take a Q-tip, put it in some eye makeup remover, and then clean it up. Clean up the edge. And you can really get a nice edge on it there. And then if you've taken away some makeup as a result of that, um, grab a little brush with a little powder on it. Of course, I don't have any powder. Get a brush with a little powder on it or use your finger or a powder puff and kind of make sure everything's still looking good. But yeah, that's just my, my thought on that, creating the outer V and trying to um, make it clean. Um, finals in business law. We just found out my husband's 94-year-old grandma has cancer. Oh, no. Um, Taser says it had, had a nasty leg wound and now cancer. It's been really hard. But on a happy note, we're going to a family reunion this weekend. Well, that's good that your family can be together. And um, But I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Rebecca says million dollar tan is on hope look today. <laughs> um, Sophia says we're going to my boyfriend's hometown to meet the nephew for the first time. Excited. Um, thank you so much. First year of cosmetology school coming up, and I need a prayer to get the money for tuition in time. I'm so nervous. Thank you so much. Uh, Courtney's on a job search. It's not going as well as I was hoping. Don't get discouraged. I know how frustrating those job searches can be. But you, you've got to keep trying with the thought that if you can cast a lot of lines out there, something's going to something's gonna bite. Um, Sarah Licious Deaf, for the past six years of my crazy life, you've been the one constant. Oh, thank you so much, Sarah. My sister is in the hospital with pneumonia. Prayers would be appreciated. That's Wild Cherry Moon. Oh, Kylie is holding her nine month old sick baby girl. Oh. Um, my husband is about to do a PT scan to find out whether his cancer came back, so please give me a prayer that it stays in remission. Um, planning a trip with some friends. I've been in a very dark place since my mom passed away, and I need strength to get myself back together to be there for my boyfriend and family. 
what I what I want people to know when we talk about these things is that you know you never you never know what everybody's dealing with, but everybody's got something, you know. So I think approaching life in a more sensitive way, um, just the people you see on the street, you know, everybody's dealing with something, and I think that when we are here, you know, we're together and we're sharing this time together, but I want you to know that, like, it goes beyond just this time. Like, I want to be thinking about you and I want to be trying my best to, you know, just be supportive toward you as you have been so supportive toward me. So, um, MN Babe says, time to find a job after being a stay-at-home mom. Need prayers that something good will come up. Um... Uh, Belinda Webb had a big plumbing issue and to get a new battery. Praying for, oh, praying for everyone here. Mariah Sierra's got another psychology exam on Monday. Girl, you have too many tests. <laughs> I, I wish you didn't have to take so many. I never like taking tests. Some people might enjoy it, though. Yeah. It's just, I just feel like everybody here has, is here from a very good place in their hearts, and I like that we, we kind of come to know each other a little bit. Like, I'm seeing these names, and I recognize these names, you know, so I'm really glad you're here. And Natalie says, here watching with my six-month-old, teething, beautiful, blue-eyed baby. <laughs> See, we've got, you know, people got things to celebrate, people have things that they, you know, need to work on, and things that they're worried about, but, you know, we're here. Uh, Rebecca says, my son's pediatrician is saying we have to get him into therapy, believes he has a developmental disorder. Um, 15 and had my second back surgery. It can't enjoy summer because I'm stuck at home, Christina says. Rachel is cleaning up the golf balls. <laughs> well, I just want to say thank you again to everybody who devotes some time to doing this. I know we went kind of extra long today, but Everybody had a lot of good questions, and I hope you had fun. And if it's your first time here, um, thank you for joining. And, yes, like Linda says, group hug to everybody there. Um, I know sometimes we don't have people in our lives that maybe we can share these things with or who can, you know, be on our side for us or maybe you live away from, from your family and you don't feel like you got a lot of friends around and you've got a lot of friends on here. So, um we're thinking about you, and we really are. I'm not just saying that. So um, thank you for your time, and um, I will definitely let you know, uh, keep you posted it, as to what time the next Beauty Broadcast Live will be. I'll probably make it in, in evening time one, just because if I'll be switching up the time a little bit anyway, or the day, um, might as well... I don't know. I'll either pull in Tyler um, the night before I go, or I'll see if Kaylee wants to do it and maybe do it on Friday or something. So we'll make it happen. It's going to happen some somehow, some way. So <laughs> thank you so much, Rebecca. I'm I am sending you every good thought that I can. I I I know that you'll get through it, but a lot of things in life get you know get through a real tough hurdle before they can start to get better so I know you're gonna get through it so thank you so much watching on your first day off in a while thank you Julie Brown love you guys um, appreciate your time if you're catching this late and you missed a big bunch of it it'll be posted eventually um, usually it goes up fairly soon um, on the vlog channel it like automatically uploads which is kind of neat once I end this it uploads on there so um, Thank you guys so much. Sending you big hugs, and I will talk to you again later. Bye.